As the pandemic continues, so does the need for food and other necessities. One man decided to join a network of support that offers help, no questions asked. Here's Tan Trung with the story. Before social distancing, Will Birch was used to inviting people to his home in the 700 block of Bartholomew Street. I used to host um, music events here at the house, and so obviously that can't happen anymore. Thanks to this makeshift baby depot, people are now visiting his Bywater home to get some help. People came by yesterday, people had a shopping cart that they had brought, um, filled up, got what they needed. In the bins are diapers, baby food, toys and other supplies. It's all free, donated by strangers, available to anyone who needs it. it. Gets the word out on apps like Nextdoor. Unlike the mass food distributions we've seen throughout the pandemic, you won't find the same items here, and you certainly won't find the lines. Kind of just under the ethos of take, take what you need and give what you can. It's part of a network set up through NOLA Community Fridges. Birch believes these small stations can make a big difference people that are showing up for their neighbors, people that are just showing up for their community, uh, tend to fill those needs way quicker and more efficiently than local government or federal government has. Birch doesn't keep regular hours at his house. He says people are free to come by whenever they need. As for potential problems like porch pirates, he says he's not really concerned about that. I think for me, the, the idea behind mutual aid is that, you know, I try and take the stance it's not for me to police. You know, if somebody's taking it, it's because they need it. During the pandemic, homes are being transformed into offices, even music stages, and now a place to get a helping hand. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. So far, NOLA Community Fridges has seven different locations in New Orleans.